Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. Sometimes there's nothing better than silence. That's right. So let me show you how I might use the silence effect in Adobe Audition. When I'm generating something, for instance, uh, maybe I'll generate a little bit of noise and I want to do something with it uh, that adds some prominence to it. So there we go, some pink noise. As I've shown you before in sound design tutorials, you can manipulate that noise in many ways, but sometimes you want to just silence out bits. So effects, silence is an easy way to pop silences into anything. It could be a little bit of noise you've generated. It could be a bit of speech. It could be in between the speech, but I'm just quickly doing it here on my noise uh, and then add some reverb. So the silence there now creates little spaces. There you go, almost sounds like uh, some kind of Morse code. Reverb, full reverb, adding that on. So there you go, you can see how silence can be used there. If I was recording a voiceover session, I might also use it. Hello, this is a voiceover. But I don't want to include the silence from my studio. I'd prefer it to be 100% silent. There we go, and we're going to view spectral frequency display. Now, as you can see, see the little bass hum of my studio there? There is always going to be some audio, no matter how soundproof or sound treated your room is. So just grab anything that is not speech, effects, silence. You might actually want to st stick this in a hotkey because it's an extremely valuable effect to have right at your fingertips in Adobe Audition. So now you can see it's completely making it absolutely silent in between my speaking. Hello, this is a voiceover. And it works extremely effectively. So as you can hear, sometimes there is nothing better than effects, silence inside Adobe Audition CC. Really quick and easy to use. I advise putting it on your own hotkey as well.